guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a favorites video. I've never done a favorites video before and I don't plan on doing like monthly favorites or anything because I don't buy makeup all that often and I don't try out enough new products to be able to do monthly favorites videos. So I might just do them whenever I feel like I have enough that I can talk about. Just a warning, today's video is going to feature a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills. As some of you guys know, I was added to their PR list and they sent out a bunch of products to me. And I love almost all of it, so a lot of their products have made it into this favorites video. But it isn't sponsored or anything like that, so thought I would just put that out there. First product I'm going to be talking about is the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I actually got this myself, well my boyfriend bought it for me, but this one wasn't sent to me. I absolutely adore these colours. Pink is my favourite colour, so all of these like red tones and stuff, oh, it's just my favourite. Even if you're more of a cool tone person, I feel like there is enough cool tone shades in here that you'll still like it. I find that if you use Bon Fresco as your transition shade, you can get a pretty nice cool toned eye look out of this. The colours are just like a nice take on the neutral palette because they're not bold colours or anything, but they're outside of the box enough that it's not just another neutral palette. I don't wear this as much as I would like to because I tend to stick more to just plain neutrals when I'm going to work and stuff and that is the main time I really wear makeup other than when I'm filming and I don't really just want to use this palette every single tutorial. But yeah, this is probably my favourite palette ever. I am so in love with this palette. Next is the Anastasia Stick Foundations. I am not a huge fan of this as an actual foundation. It's just not quite full coverage enough for me. I feel like I might just not have the right brush to apply this with because I usually just apply foundations with my beauty blender. So that's probably why. It's probably just that my beauty blender and the brush I use suck up the product, but it's not my favorite foundation. But I absolutely love these foundations to cream contour. I usually reach for the shade Alabaster to uh, highlight and fawn to contour. Uh, these just blend out so nicely and they just look really natural. Often when I'm going to work and I want more natural makeup, I'll just go in with either fawn or shadow and just lightly cream contour and not bother with powder contour. I never used to cream contour at all before I got these, so I feel like these are just a staple in my routine now. Next I have the Anna Anastasia Moonchild Glow Kit. When I opened my PR package and this was in there, like, that was it. I just, this is all I wanted. I have been wanting this palette for so long. I didn't think it would be as wearable as it is. I'm wearing Pink Heart on my cheekbones today and it is so nice. I, Pink Heart is by far my favorite in this, but I feel like this palette is perfect to complement looks with bright colors. To say I was doing a green eyeshadow look to tie it all in with Lucky Clover. I feel like it just ties the whole look together and it's just the perfect finishing touch. But also Star, Blue Ice, and Pink Heart are definitely wearable enough just for regular makeup days. So yes, definitely one of my faves. I love it so much. Next I have my Coco Lashes in the style Queen Bee. I love these. These are so dramatic and wispy and fluffy. I'm not usually a huge fan of the wispy ones where the lashes kind of like cross over each other because I feel like it can just look a bit messy. But these ones are so gorgeous. The only thing I don't really like about these is that the band is very stiff and it can be very hard to place. So I kind of have to have thick winged liner to be able to wear these, but I would usually only wear these when I'm doing bold winged liner anyway because they're so dramatic, so that's not a huge downside for me. Next I have my NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I have completely run out of my Urban Decay one and I do not have the money to repurchase that at the moment, so I've been using this instead. I picked it up during the Priceline 40% off sale and I love it. It makes your face really matte, um, which has been great because I've found that my makeup has been getting really greasy and oily lately because it's so hot in Australia at the moment. So this has been a lifesaver. My makeup stays on so much longer. I probably wouldn't recommend this if you have dry skin though because it can make it too matte. 
So if your skin did look pretty dry and dull just regularly, you're probably better off using the dewy finish setting spray. This one would probably make your face look extremely dry. Next I have my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. I've been using the shade medium brown mostly. I'm not usually a fan of brow pencils at all. I like the sharp line. It's hard to get that with a brow pencil. I just find it a lot easier to use a pomade or a powder. But I love the brow definer so much. I It's just so quick and easy to use. I'm not even sure what it is about it that makes it so much easier to use than other brow pencils. But I really love it. It's really good. <laughs> if I'm going for more natural brows, I will always use this. Next I have the Anastasia Waterproof Cream Color in Jet. This is just like a black gel liner. This is so good. It's really creamy, which makes it pretty easy to use, but unlike other gel liners I've used that are really creamy, it's completely black. Like, it doesn't show up grey, it's black. This is very similar in consistency to the Inglot gel liner, but the Inglot gel liner takes a long time to dry, like a good five plus minutes to properly dry down to be transfer proof. So if you have hooded eyes, that's not going to work. This one dries very quickly and it will not budge. It is waterproof. I highly recommend this liner. It is so good. This has been pretty much all I've used lately. Next I have a couple foundations. The first one is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I picked this up during the Priceline sale. I haven't heard many people ever talk about this, but Sophia LCS talks about this all the time and anything she loves I need to try out. So I thought I'd pick it up and I love it. It has a really good coverage, I'd say probably medium buildable, and it just has such a nice finish. It's not too dewy or too matte. It just looks really nice on the skin. I don't know how to describe it, but I really like it. The next foundation I have is my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. This one is in the shade 110 Porcelain. This is a little bit too light for me, so it's perfect to mix in with other foundations. I don't, like, ever wear this by itself. With very full coverage foundations, it settles into my fine lines really quickly. Like, my Kat Von D foundation, because I always apply my base first, sometimes by the time I've finished my eye makeup, it's already settling into my smile lines. That's how quickly it settles into fine lines. But I find that if I mix this with any full coverage foundation, it still has that full coverage, but it makes it less cakey and gross feeling on the skin. It just makes it a lot more smooth. So I really love this. If you have some foundations that do that, that are super full coverage, try mixing this in with it because it's a really nice foundation by itself, but I find that it just takes out any negative effects from any full coverage foundations. Next I have my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I actually opened this a long time ago. I should not be using this. But my other mascaras, which are even older, have been running out. I haven't been able to use my favourite mascaras, which are Benefit Roller Lash and my Essence Lash Princess. So this was just sitting around in there and it's still not dried up whatsoever. So I figured I would start using this and I love it. It's so good. I don't own a lash curler, so I don't curl my lashes ever. So I need something that will make my lashes look longer even without curling them. And this does the job. That's why I love Benefit Roller Lash. But I find this does the same thing. I really like this mascara. It's not clumpy, which I hate. I don't like clumpy mascaras. And the wand isn't too thick. I don't like thick wands either because I am very clumsy with mascara. So I need a nice thin wand. So I love this mascara and I should probably buy a new one and stop using this really old one. Okay, the last thing I have to talk about is not a makeup item, it's this moisturizer. This is a Redwind Sensitive Skin Sorbeline Moisturizer. So my mum was telling me how she follows this really popular fitness girl on Instagram and she was saying how she uses pseudo cream on her breakouts and overnight they will like disappear. And pseudo cream is like a nappy rash cream and I picked this up thinking she was talking about Sorbeline cream because <laughs> I completely forgot about it immediately. 
because this has restoring and on the back it says it's ideal for nappy rash. And this was on sale at Kohl's, it was like $2 so I picked it up, I figured it can't hurt to try. I have combo skin leaning on the oily side so I don't need like intense moisture or anything. So I've just been using this as my nighttime moisturiser. This doesn't make my breakouts go away overnight. But if you're like me and can't help but pick at all of your breakouts and are left with bleeding all over your face, put this on overnight, that wound will have healed. I am really bad, I cannot help myself. I know how bad it is for my skin, but I cannot help but pop all of my breakouts. So this has saved me. I don't then have that huge scab that is impossible to cover with foundation the next day. This will just heal that scab overnight. So I have been loving this. This is a really good like healing moisturizer in general. So if you have problems with like shaving rash or sunburn or anything, this is really good. So yeah, I thought I would just mention that because I've been really loving it. So I think that's it for my favorites. If you guys did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know that you do like it so I can do more of these kind of like product review type videos, more chatty ones rather than just makeup tutorials. And let me know some of your current favorites so I can check them out. And also if you haven't subscribed already, feel free to do that. But yeah, thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video.